We'll get in the management of IPCA Laboratories, Mr. A.K. Jain, the executive director, now joins in to talk more about the company's prospects. First off, Mr. Jain, thanks so much for taking time out to be with us. And it's, of course, good news on behalf of the company, given that you won that trademark case against Anrose Pharma with respect to the Zederol brand. Can you just tell us what exactly this means for the company in, uh, in terms of financials? Zero Doll is the largest brand of the company. It's a brand which is having a value of more than 150 crore. And uh, this company was producing a product uh, in, in the name uh, Zero Wall. So there is only one word was different than and writing style and everything was uh, similar to that of uh, uh, our product. So it, it was uh, hi highly deceptive uh, at the consumer level and uh, uh, also, uh, there was passing on was going on and therefore we had to approach the court and uh, stop this product and we have now received a letter from this company that uh, they will destroy the, all the stocks and they will withdraw the product from market and uh, uh, so it's a, go a good development as far as we are concerned. So probably no revenue loss as a result of competition coming in, no gains though. Uh, uh, just Mr. Jen, uh, the other question that I would want to ask you is that You've had, uh, I, I believe a few days back, done a small acquisition of Avic Pharma. It's, it's a small stake that you've acquired, or rather a stake for a small consideration that you've acquired. Any more such smaller string of pearl acquisitions that you have lined up over the course of the next three months? Uh, this is the company which is producing steroids and hormones and we have been working with this company for last 3-4 years uh, and we were producing uh, products on loan license basis with them. So there is already a synergy with them uh, and uh, we are generating a business of almost around 50 crore through our production at their, uh, at, uh, their plant and uh, uh, we thought it fit now to acquire a equity stake in the company so we have taken a 50 percent equity stake in the company uh, and uh, one of our facility at uh, gujarat is now ready for produ further production of uh, 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 hormones uh, male and female hormone now and we will be uh, in entering in the, the formulation business in international market and particularly on the reproductive health uh, kind of products in time to come so we are setting up the r d and everything for that so right now it's entry in the, the API business and then we will be entering into the formulation. So it's a important uh, uh, as far as we are concerned because this is one of the focus area which uh, we would like to build the business uh, in future. So it's a good acquisition maybe for a small value but it's a good business. Any more such small acquisitions that you've lined up? So the, that kind of thing we always keep on discussing but uh, right now I can't comment because uh, uh, as the things happen uh, we will always be talking. Fair enough, Mr. Jain. Now, if we look at the overall results that you clocked in for the second quarter, on account of the implementation of the new drug pricing policy as well as the deferment of supplies, we did see the revenue growth which suffered a little, particularly the domestic revenues and from the export formulations. Can you tell us how you plan to counter the same in the coming quarters? Let's say our domestic business definitely suffered because of uh, the price control and also because anti-malarial season was very low and 50% uh, of our yearly business happens in uh, of malaria uh, which we have are almost around 16% of our business come from malaria and malaria season was very bad in uh, July, August, September and as a result of that we suffered but overall if you see the growth trend which uh, ORG, IMS and also the, the your uh, uh, other uh, uh, market research agencies are uh, reporting. Uh, uh, we are among the top three or four uh, highest growing company as far as uh, top 25-30 pharma companies are concerned and continuously we are tracking a, uh, a good growth. Uh, these are the uh, some kind of seasonal impact and uh, uh, impact of the pricing implement policy implementation but we see a good growth of almost around uh, 14 to 16 percent in domestic market for whole of the financial year and uh, we would be doing very well as far as domestic market is concerned. One final question. Uh, one of the reports states that the supplies from the indoor SEZ to the U.S. market will start from the fourth quarter F514. Are you on track for that? And would, would revenues from this start showing in the Jan to March quarter itself? Let's say we have already started the production for the other markets from this particular facility and uh, uh, right now the site transfer work is currently going on because now it also need uh, the certain uh, three batches, uh, uh, sorry, or uh, three months stability data and others. So those work is uh, currently going on. Uh, hopefully by the end of the fourth quarter some kind of business may start, uh, will start from this particular facility and we will see a bigger businesses coming up uh, the, from this facility from the first quarter of the next financial year.